Rob, yesterday Johnson & Johnson was going to be acquiring pharmacyclics. Today, we discover that actually AbbVie came in at the last minute. What happened? Well, what happened is that the big pharma industry is very competitive and companies that have the choice assets are going to be pursued and there was a price competition. There was more bidders than just J&J &J and AbbVie and in the end it was AbbVie that put the biggest number on the table and got the deal done. Okay, and this is all about their drug Imbruvica, isn't it? What, yeah. what, is, what is the drug? What does it do? Well, what's special about this drug is that it treats big cancers and by big I mean a lot of people suffer from them. So. Uh, lymphoma and leukemia, <clears throat> or certain forms of lymphoma and leukemia. It treats them effectively, it has good clinical data, and it's a simple small molecule oral drug, just a simple pill that you take, whereas most of the drugs that treat cancer, there's a complicated molecule given through an injection. So the drug, as a result, can, is easy for patients to take and could be very profitable indeed because it'll be inexpensive to manufacture. So the Analysts uh, in the city are hoping that this drug could be a five, million, uh, five billion pound a year product, and that's just in the U.S. So uh, we're talking about big money. Uh, the question is whether they paid too much for it. And did they? Well, if you look at <clears throat> the financial structure of the company, if all goes well and analysts are right about their peak sales estimates, it looks like the net profit from a drug like this could be about 1.5 or maybe a little bit more than 1.5 billion dollars a year. They paid 21 billion dollars or 22 billion dollars. So that is actually not a terrible multiple to have paid, but that's your peak year profit. A lot has to go well to hit that peak, so they're taking on a lot of risk there. Furthermore, you've got to remember that drugs of this kind, small molecule drugs, are not infinite lived assets. The patent on this thing runs out in 2026, so they've got to make their uh, 20, $21, 22000000000 billion back in 10 years, and then you know, the, the game is more, more or less up. So it sounds like Johnson & Johnson maybe showed a bit of discipline. Yeah, they did indeed, and they're to be congratulated for it. Thank you.